And happening now, getting ready to reopen Nevada, but slowly. May 15th could be a significant day. And thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Trisha Keen. And I'm Ty Quinones. Let's get right now to 13 Investigates reporter Joe Bartels with the governor's announcement that just wrapped up. And Joe, there certainly is a lot to get to. Yeah, Todd Trisha, there's a lot to get to. The governor making a series of announcements on Twitter leading up to today's press conference and the presentation. Let's get right to it here. First, the governor says that the reopening of businesses all depends on the virus. The criteria for reopening remains the same. Positive cases and hospitalizations must continue to trend downward for two continuous weeks. He says on April 24th, we hit the peak and cases appear to be headed down. The governor says we now have enough tests for every single person who is showing signs of COVID-19. Eventually, he says testing will ramp up for testing of every person who is asymptomatic. That is folks who aren't showing signs but are suspected or have been exposed to someone with the virus. All retail stores will be allowed to do what's called curbside service. Restrictions on outdoor activities like golf are allowed to be lifted. More easing of restrictions may come leading up to the stay at home order expiration on May 15th. Dining restaurants and personal services might reopen under phase one as he describes describes it, but sporting events, malls, bars, nightclubs, concerts, and large in-person worship services will remain off limits during this phase, which could last anywhere from two or three weeks. Nobody wants to open up these businesses and try to get people back to work and back to their lives more than I do. It's not going to be business as normal. There's going to be a new normal in place here, and the experts in that particular field, we can't make these decisions by ourselves. The governor says gaming our state's bread and butter will not reopen at the beginning of phase one, adding that this is a fluid situation and things are changing almost by the day. We're going through the presentation. The report will have much more for you tonight live at 11. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.